We just had a huge Madden 25 patch that patched some of the most popular defenses that players were using online. So in today's video, I'm going to break down the new best defense you're going to want to use after the patch to get more stops and win more games starting now. YouTube, what is up? It is your boy Duke, back here from sportsgamers.com. Bringing you the best post-patch defense in the game today in this video. So, first of all, with this patch, what exactly did it do? What are we going to do to counter it? Well, first of all, if you ran the dollar dime 3 2 A-gap to cover 6 Willy, it no longer works. Basically, the guy doesn't loop in the A-gap. He kind of just goes straight into the O-line. So, that's no longer an option. So, that's the first main thing. The other main thing I would say is if you were one of those guys who was pulling out your outside linebackers... Um, to try to get blitzes to work, that has sort of been also kind of touched. Now, I'm not going to say it doesn't work at all. You guys can see here, when you pull these guys out and try to contain, you know, they actually stay in contains. It doesn't matter how far they go out. Um, you see, when you move them out, they're just always going to be on the contain. And, like, this is not horrible. I'm not going to say it's absolutely garbage. It's just not as good as it was before the patch. These guys don't come as free on contains as they did on blitz angles. Like, you can still sometimes get them to come in, but it's not going to be like an every time thing. Like, you guys can see here, I get like one of them free, but then the other one runs straight into the, the O line. So, like, you can imagine that, you know, if I was to block or do anything here, this blitz is probably not as good as it, it's not probably, it is not as good as it was before the patch. So, I would say, like, yeah, while well, you can still run these types of defenses, they are not as good. They're easier to block. So what can we do? Well, the main defense I've been looking at after this patch a lot is the 3-4 odd. And I know you guys know, I've, you know, I've talked about the pinch bug zero, but I found a lot more from the 3-4 odd, not just pinch bug zero, that I like. And I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite things to do out of this defense. Now, with this defense, um, I'm running the Patriots playbook right now. You know, it has 3-4 odd. 4-3 even. It does it still have the 3-3 three, three out if you want to run that. Dime 1-4. Uh, those are some of the main defenses I'm running. Dime 2-3, which again, you know, that was kind of like a pulling out of defense. But with this uh, defense, really what you're wanting to do is make sure you just have fast guys in at outside linebacker. Uh, those are the two main guys, the outside linebackers, that are really going to be screaming when running this defense. And my coaching adjustments, I like to have auto flip off, base alignment, I leave my option defense on conservative, and my zone drops on default. Now, the play I'm about to show you guys, there's a few different ways to run it, um, but you can run what I'm about to show you from a lot of different plays, to be quite honest with you. I'm going to look at cover six, and I'm going to flip it, because I do feel like one of my setups where I'm trying to get right edge pressure is more consistent when I flip it than if I like leave auto flip on, or even just try to like run it from the left. So... Let me show you how exactly this defense works. This defense is extremely easy to set up. I'm going to show you guys two to three different setups to counter different blocking. I'm going to show you guys also how you can counter it. And I'm going to show you guys how this coverage works as well. So make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole video so you don't miss out on any important info. And if you're new to the channel, I do daily Madden 25 videos. I do tips and gameplays. I also do some College Football 25 videos on this channel too. I try to do a couple for each game every week. So if you enjoy high-level Madden 25 or College Football 25 content, you're looking better to get better at the game, or you're looking to get better at the game, or you just like watching good players play, this is a channel for you, so make sure you subscribe, like, comment on the video, all that does help me out a lot. If we get to 500 likes on this video, I will post another defense that works really good post-patch. So first of all, how to set this defense up. Well, like I said, there's a few different ways to bring pressure, but the first thing I always do is show blitz. To show blitz, you're going to hit the coverage audible, which is triangle or Y, and then you're going to hit RB or R1. Essentially, that's going to bring your DBs up in the box as well as your linebackers. Now, first of all, why am I running this cover six? Well, one of the biggest things this patch did was it actually actually really improved match coverage, in my opinion. Um, match coverage is a lot better, I would say, after the patch. The way your guys match is just better. So, cover six is a pretty solid coverage right now. I still feel like actual dis zones... Like, just flat out playing zone coverage with no match is not very good. I prefer to run either some sort of match or man right now. 
So, <clears throat> there's a few different ways to run this blitz. First of all, if they're not doing much blocking, maybe they're just coming to the line quick snapping you, you can really get by with this blitz simply rushing four. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just simply crash my defensive line to the outside. To do that, you hit left on the D-pad and up on the right analog stick. I like to just do that like twice real quick to make sure my angles actually change. These are the angles you're looking for. There's a play art bug in practice mode where it doesn't always show that your line crashed. So like I said, I just do it like a good two times to make sure it actually did it. Now, what I do is I just stand over this guard at the snap. I kind of just stand in this position over the guard where you see how these... Four green horizontal lines over my user's head. That's very important. That means the O-line is targeting me. If I'm too far back, this blitz is not going to work. You see those lines disappear. The O-line is no longer targeting me. So I just stand up here. And at the snap, basically I just stand there for a split second. And then I drop back. And as you guys can see, that guy just runs right around the corner untouched. If you're looking to become a better Madden 25 player and win more games, check out sportsgamers.com. This is where I post all my premium content. You get all my offensive and defensive schemes, ebooks, weekly tips, blitzes, money plays, bombs, and more. I have all the best content available at the cheapest prices available anywhere. Sign up today for as little as $9.95. Click the link in the description. I also pinned it in the comments. Let's win more games and dominate together, boys. Um, probably should be your fastest outside linebacker on the right of the screen. Really, I should put Fred Warner there, honestly, because he's, like, screaming. But as you guys see, I mean, I don't have to do anything with my user other than just pause. Yeah, I just pause for, like, a very split second. I'm paused right now. Then I drop back. And as you guys can see, this match does a pretty good job here. There's really nothing we have to worry about popping open. You know, I'm definitely satisfied with that result. Really, really quick pressure. I'm kind of just looking over the middle of the field. But there really was nothing for me to do. Now, just to show you guys what I mean, if I was to go do the same thing, show blitz, uh, slant my defense line to the outside, but then I was too far back, this blitz is just not going to be as effective, and you'll see what I mean. You know, they no longer have to worry about me, so they're able to get that edge guy. So that's why you need to stand up to make sure it comes in. Now, how to counter this? Well, you know, a few different things. You know, blocking the running back with some sort of ID is probably, your, you know, your best bet to really consistently get this um, picked up. And we have a counter for that. So... You know, if I notice, hey, they're starting to keep people in, they're probably IDing that guy, they know how to counter the simple four-man version, that's when I can turn this into a six-man version. So what I would do in that case, if I see that you're blocking the running back, like I said, doing some sort of IDing, whatever, you're picking up my blitz, I'm simply going to do one more step. I'm also, after I uh, basically show blitz, you can still slant your D-line outside. Um, you don't even have to, but then I just hit right on the D-pad, down on the right analog stick, just like that. That blitzes all my linebackers down. Now, I don't need to put my user in a blitz angle. I can put him in any coverage so I can switch stick. Maybe I'll man him up to somebody. You know, maybe I'll put him in a zone. Just kind of whatever you want to do. But when you do this, what's going to end up happening here is, yeah, they might be able to block the right edge. Now, in this case, I just simply man myself up to the running back. Now, in a situation like this, if the running back is blocked, what I'm actually going to do is instead of just simply pausing at the snap, when I see the ball snap, I'm going to run up just like that. And by running up, what happens is the running back basically dumbs out. He is accounting for you. Look, he's like, oh, no, that guy's coming free because I'm running up kind of like right by the gap by the running back. And what ends up happening, even if they slided, ID'd, blocked, this, that, and the third, guess what? We dumbed the running back out. And now that guy is still coming free and we're able to get the pressure. Now, again, your job is quick read over the middle. A blitz like this with fast linebackers, really, if you take away their first read, they're not going to really have anything else. And by showing blitz, you guys can see the safeties are very much walked up, similar to how they are out of the, uh, the dollar, to where you can't really just throw quick passes at the safeties. You just got to take away that first quick read. And that's about it. So with the simple four-man version, six-man version, we're getting really good pressure, and we're not having to walk or drag linebackers out, none of that. I really feel like after this patch, defenses like the 3-4 odd and 4-3 even are going to be your best bet because you don't have to rely upon any of that stuff. The pressure is intense. There's ways to glitch out the running back. There's also some very good coverages in both of these formations. But like I said, believe it or not, the match coverages are a lot better. I mean, they were, they were pretty good. Before the patch, honestly, they had improved. 
they're even better now. So I feel like just, you know, 4-3 even cover four quarters. The 3 fraud has some match plays as well. I just running cover six. It's really what you're going to want to look at. Like I said, New England Patriots playbook has both the 3-4 odd and 4-3 even. Highly recommend taking a look at that. If you want more tips like this, sportsgamers.com. Link is in the comments and description. Till next time, it's your boy Duke, and I'm out of here.